Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, ChaseCoach.com in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. I have an awesome looking motorhome to show you today. It's a 2023 Renegade Classic, and it's the 45 CBF floor plan, okay? So this bad boy, 45 foot long, sleeps 10 people, two full baths, 600 horsepower, DD16 Detroit under the hood, and full body paint. And hey, I've got a question for you. Where is all of my Miami Dolphin fans at? Is this not the Miami Dolphin coach? So we're going to call it the Miami Dolphin, okay? I love it. Probably one of the sharpest paint jobs to date that I've ever seen. It looks even better when the sun's setting. Those blues just, man, they pop. So Freightliner Cascadia chassis, 600 horsepower DD16 Detroit with a six-speed Allison automatic transmission. Uh, six-speed Allison 4000 series. So this is the, the big guy, okay? Uh, very heavy-duty uh, transmission made for towing, obviously, this coach down the road and anything you want to hook to it. 120 gallons of fuel on board. Again, full body paint. Very nice. Lots of storage here in just a second. We're going to open up all the storage bays and go through those. Let me kind of scoot back here where you can see the whole side of him. Th uh, let's see here. Three slides. Yeah, two on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. 40,000 pound hitch uh, by the folks at Gen Y. Already pre-wired with the Voyager camera plug. So if your trailer has the uh, Voyager camera on the back of it, you can plug it right in or you can add it to your trailer. We can add it to your trailer. We do all kinds of stuff like that here in our shop. Currently has the two and five sixteenths ball on top. You can see the two inch ball on there. Uh, we also have the uh, pinnel hitches in stock. As you can see, the glad hand fittings are already on this one. So if you're towing a trailer with air ride or air brakes, no problemo, okay? Michelin tires like new, uh, 24,600 miles on this one. So barely, barely broke in, has the, um, the Freightliner Detroit Safety Assurance Package. That's what this uh, little black box is for over here. So if you're driving down the road and you go to shift lanes and there's someone in your blind spot, this thing is going to quickly let you know about it, which could save you from running over someone and then they blame you and then you're blaming your wife. And yeah, we know how it goes, guys. All right. So that's the outside. Um, it does have the outdoor cooler, outdoor entertainment system, two of the dual pitch, uh, big Gerard awnings, as you can see up there on the roof line. Uh, lots and lots and lots of really nice options. And again, this one is a 2023 model, Renegade Classic 45 CBF. So Charlie Bravo Fox is the floor plan, three slides, sleeps 10, two complete bathrooms. That's two showers, two toilets, two vanities. The uh, showers are tiled. It's got heated floors in it. This is the one. So if you're looking for a newer coach, you're looking to upgrade, or maybe you're um, a first-time Renegade buyer, please give us a call and let's make a deal on this one, okay? If the coach is on my website, um, then it is available. So go to our website, chasecoach.com. It'll have the price, some uh, details on it that maybe I forgot to mention. I try to remember all this stuff offhand and I, I give myself like a nine out of a 10, okay? Come on, help me out. Also hit the subscribe button. Would love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, it's November, actually I think tomorrow's December the 1st and I'm shooting for like another 2,000 subscribers in 30 days. So I think we can do it. Share it with a couple buddies. If you have a friend looking for a Renegade, uh, you think this would be up their alley, please, please, please share it with them. But let me open up the storage bays. We're going to go around those. I'll also pop the hood and open the cab. We'll look at all that, and then we'll take a uh, quick spin through the interior. Thanks for watching. I'll be right back. All right, got it all opened up for you guys. All the compartments, outdoor entertainments open. We were talking about big horsepower under the hood, DD16. 
the legendary 600 horsepower Detroit with the six-speed Allison, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque on this bad boy. Clean is a brand new one. Very nice. Michelin X-Line Energy tires. Um, underneath the um, driver's door is your fuel, 120 gallons, and then your DEF fluid. Um, Renegade upgraded and went with the new Sears seating, and it is branded. You can see there with the Renegade embroidered into the headrest. Um, very neat and clean cab. Both sets of original keys with this coach and the digital dash. I'll turn all that on when we get inside. We'll turn that on. Cobra, CB radio, uh, backup camera display there. These are so easy to drive. If you're like, oh, I don't know if I could do that, you just need to, um, you need to try it at least once, and I think you would be sold. Four of the big 8D batteries on the bottom. Those are feeding uh, the dual inverters, which we'll see in this next compartment. Then we have three of the engine starting batteries up there. Right here, as I mentioned, two 3,000-watt inverters. One of them uh, is pushing the middle roof air, so you can run the middle roof air going down the road without the generator on. 75 gallons of gray and black. Uh, over here is your wet bay, which has your electric fresh water reel, uh, the valve for the tank fill. You can also raise the green valve up and you'll get city water. Um, got the fresh, the whole house fresh water filter. There's the blue, uh, the hose reel's electric. You can see the switch, low point drain, uh, black tank flush over there to the right, cable connection below it, and then your uh, dump handle. So those handles are on cables. They just literally run around to this side where the valves are at. Alcoa aluminum wheels, 12.5 on in with 783 hours on it. We just done a full service on it, so it's good for 200 hours before you should have to touch it again. Back here in the left rear compartment, we have the electric shore power reel, so a 50 amp reel your um, connection, your transfer switch connection, which is determining if it's going to pull power from the generator or if you're plugged into shore power. I'm pretty sure, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the generator always takes presence over the shore power. Again, 40,000 pound hitch. I've got every adapter you can imagine. I've got panel hitch, mini fifth wheel, two and five sixteenths, two inch uh, ball. I've got the two inch receiver, three inch receiver, all in stock. And hey, if you ever run across a buddy needing a hitch, we have them. So call him, call me. I would love to just sell him a hitch. Um, back here, some of the uh, slide locks. If you run those running down the road, they're, they come with the coach. Uh, your central vac system is located in there. Uh, it does have the Genturi exhaust. This is basically a big storage compartment with the what they call the three-quarter pass-through. So you can see the box goes down underneath the frame rail. So it's nice for putting like a uh, lawn chair or some tables or, you know, something that's too big to fit in the other compartments. Uh, this coach does have the Aquahot 450D hydronic heating, which takes antifreeze and heats it up in a boiling system, either with electrodes or with diesel fuel and a burner. And it basically heats up antifreeze to a boiling temperature. And then your fresh water runs through a heat exchanger next to the antifreeze, makes the water hot, or it also circulates antifreeze through these little, um, looks like little miniature radiators in the coach. And that's the, it blows air through them and makes hot air essentially. So all electric coach, no propane on this one. Storage here, one of the Truma outdoor electric coolers or freezer. So you can set uh, both sides up to freeze or you can do one AC or I mean, excuse me, one like just side to chill your beverage of choice as you're tailgating at the NASCAR event or the, um, the big camping, the annual camping trip or the rodeo or the football game. I'm trying to paint the picture. Just kind of close your eyes and, and sit with me here for a second. You've got the whole family or your buddies. You guys are going to be riding in style. I'm telling you. All right. Inside the cab on the passenger side, very simple. Love the colors in it. Yeah, and so what are the accommodations? 
It's been cold here the last couple days. Today's nice. <laughs> Samsung Outdoor TV on NBC right now with a sound bar. And then it's time to go inside. So I'm going to run the slides out and then we'll take a quick spin through the interior. Again, for over probably close to 200 pictures, chasecoach.com. Um, we offer financing, accept trades. We deliver nationwide. Just got back from California, taking a unit out there. So we are, we are coast to coast. Love to earn your business. Thanks for watching. Stand by just a second and uh, we'll go through the interior. Right. Going up in the interior to your left here is the keyless entry panel. And then you also have key fobs to get into it. Tiled entryway, the, the wider entryway. So I think in 2022 or maybe 23 is when they changed it. Uh, the entry is the doors wider than the older coaches. Let me zoom out. We get a full view here. Here we go. So this coach has three slides, one up front, two back in the bedroom. We'll start on this side. So you can see the entry door that I just came through. Above it, you have a Samsung TV with matching sound bar, and it's on one of the brackets that will, um, you pull the little black strap you can see there, and the TV will come out and, and turn different ways so you can accommodate anyone and everyone that's watching. Uh, kitchen area, big, big, big stainless, one of the single basin sinks, uh, maple cabinets throughout this guy, very clean, very neat how the cabinets are set up and very durable. Um, all of the drawers are soft close, and I like this one. So I set the remotes in here. It's just a, a easy way to know where they're all at. But this one has the stacked silverware drawer. See that? So you move that out of the way and you got another whole section below it. Does have the true induction, uh, two burner, electric cooktop, and above it you've got the Samsung microwave convection oven. And then you have the Samsung residential fridge with the pull-out freezer drawer on the bottom. Up above it, you have a DVD player, and then this coach has the InMotion satellite and the HD satellite, so you have both. Um, some people will, will ask, well, why would you have both? Why, you know, why isn't one good enough? Well, the, the InMotion you need because if you're traveling down the road and you're turning left, turning right, whatever, it won't lose signal, okay? It's called an in-motion satellite. So it maintains the satellite signal as you are driving. However, the in-motion satellite will not uh, accept some high-definition channels. So some of those movies or games or whatever you want to watch, you won't be able to pick them up in HD. So this coach has the WineGuard Traveler Pro, which is an HD satellite, that when you get to your event, you can set up so it raises up off the roof. It kind of looks like a direct TV satellite dish that you remember, you know, having mounted on the side of your house. So it raises up. It's all electric. You, you just press one button. It raises up off the roof, and you'll hear it turning until it locks in a good signal. And at that point, you've got the high-definition channels as well. Queen-size bed up here above the cab, windows on each side. Um, you can see you've got an electrical outlet over there with the mini USB, full-size USB, nice, comfy bunk mattress, and the ladder. Now, going down the road, we just take the ladder and set it up in the bunk. Um, but, you know, when you get stopped, ladder, you can see how it hooks into the rail, and you can slide it left or right. Cab area, plenty of room in the Freightliner Cascadia, lots and lots of room. Air ride, driver, and passenger seat. Um, most of the controls on this coach, a lot of it's uh, all digital screens now, so I like that. And then you have, over here behind the driver's seat, you have the dinette. So this dinette is, um, is set up to very comfortably seat four people, um, and then you can drop down that middle table leaf and then there's a this black cushion. You can see this up here. I set it up above the cab just for storage purposes. But you can drop down that middle table leaf and sleep um, two people there. I mean, it would be a couple of adults kind of, you know, scrunched up a little. Or uh, two kids could easily sleep there. So you've got two above the cab. We've got two on the dinette. 
and then this sofa turns into a queen size bed. Um, and so you've got, you know, six people up in the front if needed, okay? You do have a couple of drawers underneath the dinette, the booth there. It comes with all of the original manuals, very neat, organized in the binder, and both sets of keys. One seat or one set is up there in the cup holder, the other is in the ignition. All of the shades are night and day, so the they're electric, okay? So you can see kind of the black one here. That is what you call the day shade. And then the white one drops down, uh, which is the night shade, and it, it blocks out everything. You do have the multiplex system, so it's a digital control. You can see I hit Light Master off, and every light in the coach shuts off. Light Master on, and then you can go to different screens, and you can turn individual lights on, your power, your thermostat, your um, ceiling fans, your slides, your leveling. It even has a mobile app. You can see there, you click on the mobile app, you scan that and log in, and you can run this whole coach from your iPhone. I think they have an Android version as well, so very, very cool. And please note, all of the storage in the slide there, so lots of cabinets in the slide, cabinets here in the kitchen, down below, under the sink. Um, we also have the covers, so we have the covers that you put here on the sink and makes it flush. Same deal over here on the cooktop. We got those covers as well. I just, for the photos, I took them off. They're sitting down there. All right, moving on back, another multiplex screen. Um, you can see there, same thing we were looking at over here on the slide out, just another one. Um, has the washer and dryer. Now, if you didn't need the washer and dryer, we can remove it, and basically you have two really big storage cabinets, but on a long trip, it's nice to have, especially if you're primitive camping and you don't have, you know, like a, a clubhouse or a pool house or something to, uh, you know, with a washer and dryer to go up and, and do that. You've got your own in this coach. Two bunk beds. So the bunk beds, essentially, let me spin around. You have your own bathroom here across from them, and it's not just a half bath. As I mentioned earlier, two full baths. So you have um, a Tecma, one of the Macerator electric flush toilets. You have your own vanity, uh, tile backsplash that matches the kitchen, overhead mirror, uh, medicine cabinet area, and then spin around here. You have a shower, and it is a tiled shower. Very easy to keep clean, overhead skylight, sliding glass doors. I've got them locked in place now. So this would be the transport position. Going down the road, you would have them locked like that. But um, when you get ready to take a shower, you just pull the little plastic hook and it raises up. Then we have the master bedroom, king size bed. Uh, it is also where your water tank's located. So you got 150 gallons of water, two 75 gallon tanks uh, that are underneath the bed. Lighting, uh, some little... Um, Places to put remotes or your stuff uh, when you go to bed, your watch or whatever. And you got a place to plug all of it in. So you can see there, place to set a drink. Turn around here, 43-inch Samsung TV. All smart TVs too. So the outdoor TV, the one up in the living area, and then the one here in the bedroom. All smart TVs. Cedar line closet. And it's real cedar. That's not wallpaper. That is the real deal. You can stick your head in that closet, and uh, it is full, natural cedar. So you have a couple pocket doors. So you have a set up there on that door, and then you can see this set. So you can totally block off the master bedroom where you got your own bathroom, your own bedroom. The kids want to stay up till 2 in the morning? No problem. They've got their own little area up front with their buddies and in the bunks there. And then in the back... The master bath, okay? Check this one out. Full tiled shower. Ooh. Ah, right? Yeah, really awesome looking. It's a bigger shower too. So the one back here in the master bath is a little bigger than the one in the middle. Skylight above. Again, you have the sliding doors. You just pop that little plastic hook and the glass slides over. Sink, vanity, more cabinets back here. And then... Um, Macerator electric flush toilet. Again, porcelain, Tecma brand, great quality. Love, love their toilets. So uh, heated floors, dual zone. So you can heat the back half. You can set the temperature where you want it back here. 
You also can set the front or you can set them both on the same thing. Uh, the choice is yours. So heated floors uh, throughout. It does have the solar charging system. I think it's got uh, three 175 watt charging panels up on the roof. The little controller that um, shows your, your charging and stuff is down here. Uh, which we're inverting. So what you see, you know, you're seeing the, um, the TV's on, the microwave is, uh, is currently on. That is strictly running off of batteries. And the refrigerator too, like we open this up, I mean, the fridge is cold and the light's on, it's working. And that is strictly running off of batteries. So the inverters take the 12 volt batteries and they step them up 10 times to 120 volt. And that's how we get 120 power. So saves the hours on your generator. Um, when you're running down the road, the alternator on the Detroit engine up there under the hood also replenishes or recharges those batteries. So it's just like a, a, a reproductive cycle, I guess we'll call it. It's very, very, very neat, all the technology in these new ones and how they're efficient and, you know, you save a lot of hours on your generator, etc. So I believe that covers at least 95% of it. Uh, if you have a question or if there's something I missed, give me a call. We'll throw my number up there on the screen. As I mentioned earlier, please, please, please hit the uh, subscribe button if you're not a um, subscriber to our channel and uh, share it with a couple buddies. It's greatly appreciated. But we deliver nationwide. We have some uh, great financing options and we accept trade-ins and uh, would love to earn your business. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. And if there's something we can do for you, let us know.